Hey you guys, what's up? It's me Looks by Lottie, and welcome to my channel! Please excuse my hair, it is freshly washed. So I'm posting my first video here, and I honestly wasn't sure what to do, so I asked my Instagram followers um, for some suggestions. Um, go ahead and follow my Instagram if you don't already, I'll put it like here, or here, somewhere. I thought it would be a good idea to start with a look that I had posted previously that a lot of people liked. So I did a little poll and the winner was doo -doo -doo -doo, this baddie right here. Hopefully I figure out how to put pics in so you guys can see. She's giving me fierce. She's giving me Valentine's Day vibes. She's giving me just gorgeousness. So I thought it would be a good idea to recreate it. Now it's been a while since I did it. I think I did it around the beginning of February. Well, it's been a hot second, but I think I can remember the techniques. Without further ado, let's get started. This was a very important step, you just don't know it yet. So the first products that I used in my look was some primer. Um, it was a Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I'm currently out of that, so we're gonna substitute. First, I'm gonna go in with my Tatcha Water Cream. We're not gonna spread her everywhere, but we are, you know, we're gonna put it where it matters, you know? I probably shouldn't have done that to my nose, but you know what? I think I'll be okay. We're gonna let her sit there for a second. Next, I'm gonna take my Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Photo Finish Primer. I'm gonna put her in the same spots that I placed the moisturizer. All right, this is where the weird stuff comes in. We're gonna take some eye primer and we're gonna put it on my lids and also on some fine wrinkles I have. Because I am the ripe, beautiful age of 25, I have already started aging a little bit and I hate it. So I try to cover it up at every convenience. So first we're gonna dab it on the eyeball. And now we're gonna place it on this big wrinkle that I have on my forehead. I saw somebody on TikTok do this, I can't remember their name, but they basically said, well, it helps your eyeshadow from creasing, so it can help other makeup from creasing. So I do it. Does it help? Actually, a little bit. Am I going overboard right now? Okay, now that I look weird as heck, we're gonna start going in on the eyes. I'm gonna be taking the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Eyeshadow Palette, the Volume 2. So I'm taking this angled brush from Morphe. I got it at Ulta. It was probably like between four and eight dollars, so not too expensive. And we are going to go into this. We are gonna go into this shade called Temptress. And we're basically gonna treat this like it's going to be like a gel eyeliner. We're just gonna draw the wing. And we're gonna keep just building up pigment. We are gonna be blending it out later, so don't worry if it's too dark or if it's too messy. We're not looking for perfection yet. These don't look that great, but you know what they say, trust the process. We are now going to go into shade Dance Party. We're gonna do the same thing that we did with the black, we're just gonna stack it right on top. Doesn't look great now, but just wait. All right, the last shade we're gonna add to this mess is going to be Tipsy Girl, which you can see is a very well-loved shade of mine. Trust the process, please. Now we're gonna take a blending brush. I'm gonna use this one, and we're gonna blend everything out and about and together. I kind of blend it into my crease and give it some definition. And if you want, you can add any of, like I've just added Tipsy Girl in here just to bring out that color a little bit more. See, it's getting somewhere, I told y'all. Okay, I'm taking the shade Certified and we're just gonna blend that out at the top. As you can see, we kind of lost that wings dimension, so we're gonna go ahead and put it back on. 
but with eyeliner. So I use the Kaja Beauty Wink Stamp and the Winged Liner. I am a Kaja Beauty Ambassador, which isn't the same as an affiliate. I don't get any money by promoting these. Um, they gifted me these for free, and so I get to choose whether or not I want to promote them on my pages, and I do because I genuinely like these. These are so easy to use. So we're going to be using the one that says right because we're showing you how to do it on my right eye. Super, super simple. We have this wing. Hold on. We have this wing right here. We're going to line it up where we want it to sit. So we press and release. Didn't line it up that good, but that's all me. Then we're going to use the actual belt tip liner to extend it out and bring it back in. And I'm going to kind of try and line it up with the liner and then also extend it to my actual lid. Wing liner always looks weird on me because I have hooded eyes, so this might look different on you if you decide to do it. I'm going to do the rest of my liner and my lashes on camera and I will be right back. Okay, lashes and liner is on. We are looking gorgeous so far. Next, we're going to apply our foundation, which is Rare Beauty, which is probably my favorite foundation. Kind of smells like Indian's pretzels right now. That's the vibe. So I'm gonna take my Larly Los Angeles Kabuki brush and we are going to brush her out. And this is where we're gonna start kind of cleaning things up around the eye. So I have to take my brush, just kind of go right under my eye and swoop it underneath my wing. And so it kind of cleans it up a little bit. And we can get more of that um, swooped up angled effect. Now that I put the foundation over my face, it's time to blend out any brush lines. I'm going to use a beauty blender for this, but not just any beauty blender. I'm going to use a Juno & Co sponge. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I'm just trying this product three years too late. So let's see how it feels. Let's see how it does. It's a more important thing. Okay, I think she's doing her job so far. There's not a lot, I mean, considering that I've like almost had it down my entire face. There's gotta be a bigger version of this, right? Like, it just feels so small. She did what she had to do, and she will continue to do what she has to do. Next, of course, we're gonna use the Rare Beauty Brightening Concealer. We're gonna put her in some specific places. So here, we're gonna go back underneath the wing here. Maybe the same on the other side. Give me a second. A little bit down here. Oh, hi forehead. Down the bridge of my nose. Got here, here, here. And we're gonna do it right around where you would normally put like your contour. We're not gonna contour today. We are gonna bronze a little later though. We're gonna brush this down and pat it in. All right, so for the eyes, I'm gonna go in a little bit like down here and then up this side. Down, side, down, side. And then right for the right by the eye, I'm gonna swoop it up so we can kind of get that snatch vibe. See that? Beautiful. Now before it sets, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and we are going to place it over where we concealed. The last cream we're going to use on our face is going to be the Rare Beauty Melting Mauve, sorry, Melting Blush in shade Nearly Mauve. Now this doesn't really match your look. Why'd you use this? Um, because I just got it. So all I do is use my finger and I am gonna, ah, that's a lot. But yeah, essentially just brush up. Those are two different placements. 
Ooh. We'll see how that looks on my face, I guess. I use this brushing motion because Gen Z on TikTok says that it'll give me a facelift. Okay, yeah, I think we can see where I uh, messed up on the placement. But that's okay, because we might be able to fix it. So now I'm gonna wipe off the bake, bake, and set everything with the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Setting Powder, and I just take a big fluffy brush and dab it all over. It's 2021, we need to stop doing that now. After this step is when I like to go back in and do the bottom lash. We're gonna go back in with the shades that we used before, specifically Dance Party and Tipsy Girl, and just... Now, we're not blowing out the entire lash line, but we're making it known that she's there and she's ready to make her full out of herself if necessary. So this originally wasn't a step, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of bronzer because I want to. So we're gonna put that above where we cut that cheekbone earlier. And we're just gonna add a little bit to the nose. Not enough for a nose job, but enough to look cute. My brows are crazy right now, so I'm gonna take the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. In the original video, I used the um, ABH Dip Brow Gel, but I can't find it right now. My eyebrows are actually microbladed, so if you're asking for the full brow tutorial, I sadly cannot give it to you because I just can't. When I get my brows touched up in October, I can take y'all with me though. Now we're gonna take the Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty. None of the shades actually match the uh, shade I put on my cheeks. So we're going to improvise and we're going to do stargaze and pink moon and let's go ahead and blend her up. You can never have too much blush. Now it's time for highlighter. I'm going to go in with the Benefit Cookie Highlighter, but before that I'm going to wet my face with the Kaja Miss Me and Smell Smell. Well, it smells like pina colada, but it's like the scent. And check out that glow. I mean, I think we all knew because Cookie's been around for a little while now. We're gonna put some in the inner corner and also on the brow bone. I didn't do this in the initial look, but now that I have it, I wanna add it in. I'm gonna take the Five Star Island palette from the ColourPop slash Animal Crossing collection. I'm gonna take the shade Island Designer which is like this really pretty glitter. And I'm gonna add her to the inner corner just for a sparkle. Lastly, it's lippy time. I'm really, really bad at doing lips. So bear with me. We're gonna take this ColourPop Ultra Matte in shade Good Karma. See what I mean? I just can't do it right. Okay, we got that situation semi under control. Moving on. I couldn't find the shade Pure Hollywood, so I'm gonna substitute it with Coco K from Kylie Cosmetics. And all we do is that we're just gonna put her in the middle like this. And then, so we have a little bit of dimension, but not an overwhelming amount. And last but not least, we have. Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is in shade Baby Brute. Baby Brute? Baby Brute. All right, let me change into something a little more comfortable. All right, everybody. So here is our final look. Glowing babes. We have that. That's not a moment. Once again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that right now. I am active there every single day and I post six days a week. Leave out Sundays because, you know, that's the day of rest. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe before you go and have a great day and stay safe.